Hi, one of the most common questions that I get other than how do I order my credential is about weddings. How do I do a wedding? I've never done a wedding before. I want to do someone's wedding and I don't know what to do. Um, well, I'd like to give you a little bit of information. We do have a wedding DVD available on how to conduct weddings. Um, we also offer a number of books, one of which is the Ultimate Wedding and Ceremony Workbook for the Planning Impaired. Uh, not only does it have a ton of ceremonies in it, but it has a lot of other information in between that can help you as a minister figure out what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do at a wedding. Um, it's up to you what you want to charge. Uh, I charge currently $150. I have them put down a deposit with the balance due, uh, but I don't go to rehearsals. Some people do go to rehearsals and they charge more, but frankly I'm not really that necessary at a rehearsal since the purpose of going to the rehearsal is so that people can practice walking down the aisle. I'm not going to sit and read the whole ceremony at the rehearsal because I already know my part. Uh, a few things that you ought to know. Um, when you are the minister, you stand up and you will want to face all of the guests and have the bride and groom face each other. I generally have them hold hands. Um, if they seem kind of nervous, I say something like, um, why don't you hold hands like you like each other? And that always makes everybody laugh. So they hold hands, they kind of relax a little bit. Um, after they walk down the aisle, please make sure you tell the guests to sit. Say, please be seated. I have been to weddings before as the disc jockey with a brand new minister up there who doesn't tell people to sit down. And everybody nervously looks around like, should I sit? Are we supposed to sit? What are we doing? I don't understand. So please say, please, please be seated. And you, or you can gesture them to sit down. When the bride is first walking down the aisle, again, you can, you can gesture them up this way, or you can say, please rise, something so everyone is looking at the bride. Um, little hints, I tell the groom that he has to look at me until the bride is standing at the aisle with everybody standing up, and then he gets to see her for the first time. It's, it's a lot more dramatic than just having him watch her as she meanders or walks a long way, and it, it builds the suspense a little bit more, which is a lot of the fun. Uh, nothing better than seeing that look on the groom's face the first time he sees his bride in her dress and walking down the aisle. It's, it's, uh, it's often tear-jerking and the grooms cry ten times more than the brides ever do. The brides have been working on it for months and months and they're like, hey, it's done and everyone's here and everyone's looking at me and the groom's saying, oh, I'm getting married! It's, 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 it's a good thing. Uh, the other thing that's really important is to smile. I know you're nervous up there if it's your first time doing a wedding and you are looking down at your paper and you want to talk real fast. Smile. Speak slowly. Remember that this is their happiest day of days, so smile and show your joy at being allowed and invited to be part of that special day. Um, one of the things that I always tell people is that uh, their biggest fear is how am I going to know when to speak? I don't want to memorize anything. I don't know what to do. What I do is I will hold up my book, I look down, and I will first look and say, Bride, do you blah, 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 and then I look right at them and say, then they say, I do. And I say, don't say anything until I look at you. Because sometimes there's a lot of questions. Do you promise to do this? Do you promise to do this? Do you promise to do this? And you don't want them stammering through going, I do. Uh, so you look them, say, do you, bride, promise to blah, 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 And then they say, I do, and then they know, and it's no problem. They repeat after me, one line at a time, nice and slow, easy squeezy. If they blank out, then just repeat it. No big deal. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the other thing is, um, when the... Um, when they try and put the rings on the fingers, sometimes they're a little hard to get on. And, and I always tell people ahead of time, make sure you put a little lotion on your finger. But they, they don't, always. Because when you're nervous and your hands sweat, they'll swell. And so sometimes it's hard to get the ring on. So when that happens and they're struggling to get the ring on, um, I often say, well, a ring that's hard to get on is hard to get off. People generally laugh. Um, occasionally, too, I have people who... When they first walk down the aisle, they're so accustomed to greeting each other with a kiss that they start to kiss right when the bride gets down there. I have to say, no, no, no. Um, so it's kind of funny. <coughs> you are allowed to make jokes during weddings. Um, you know, don't go overboard, of course, but it just depends on the couple. Um, 
but I find that most couples don't mind and actually appreciate a little bit of lightheartedness because they're so nervous. They're so nervous. Uh, and then they walk back down the aisle. Everybody walks in usually as a minister. We're the last ones who walk down the aisle. So um, it's a lot of fun. I like to let the couples pick the ceremonies themselves. That's why I have the wedding workbook. I give them a copy of it at the consultation and then they just pick the parts they like. Uh, if not, you can send them different parts, but it's a lot more time consuming. It's easier to just give it to them. They're appreciating the gift. You can put um, a sticker with your name, address, information, uh, return address stickers on the inside of the book. Um, I also use the book to um, create a contract. I put my name, my address, my email, the date and time that we agreed on for minister services the deposit and the balance due. And that way there is no question as to when the wedding is, what time it is, and what you've agreed to. I occasionally have people change the date and time of the wedding without telling me. So uh, you want to make sure that what you've agreed to is written in the book in case it ever comes up. Uh, that's the basics for weddings. I would strongly encourage you to get a copy of the wedding workbook. Um, if you have any other questions, I'm always available to answer them. Thank you. Bye-bye.